All right, what's good y'all? So today, 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 I am going to be showing you guys my dog's curly hair routine. So I have a dog, her name is Penny. She's got curly hair and so I kind of have a little bit of a curly hair routine for her. You know, um, that brand Chi, like they had Chi So Confusion. Um, well, they have a line for dogs as well. It's called Chi for dogs. And so that's what Penny uses. And they have a shampoo and a conditioner. It's a very simple routine, but I find that the conditioner really kind of helps her curls pop. So pretty much what the routine looks like is I get Penny in the bath, bath and she's pretty good with baths. She's not like one of those dogs that tries to jump out of the bath all the time. She kind of just sits there and just like, okay, when is this going to be over? You know, type of thing. And so she's pretty good with that. She's pretty good with baths. So I, so I wet her and get her all nice and wet up. And then I go ahead and take the shampoo, um, dog shampoo, and I just rub it all on her. It's pretty simple. I just take the shampoo, just rub it all over her, make sure I'm getting everywhere all nice and studded up so that I can get her, you know, nice and cleaned off everywhere. Um, making sure to kind of get in the paws because her paws can and the hair around her paws can get kind of dirty. I'm uh, making sure to get around her butt because she is a furry dog, so sometimes when she poops, um, there's just a little bit of, uh, you know, residue on her butt area, so making sure that I get that area um, pretty good. Um, I also like to make sure that I get her head and like around her mouth really good because you know when she's eating and drinking and all that stuff there's a lot of a little a little mess that can get around her mouth and then uh, she recently had thrown up and so there was a little bit of that throw up smell on her mouth and it, it just needed to be cleaned up. Normally the groomers cut it but in between going to the groomers this is the routine that I do with her. Then I just go ahead and I rinse her off and I make sure the water is like r r really not not cold, but not hot at all whatsoever. Um, Cause I don't want to burn her or anything. So I just kind of get some lukewarm water and I just go ahead and take, fill it up a big cup. I don't have a shower head that I can remove. So I just take a big cup and I just rinse her off, um, filling up the cup and just dumping the water on her to rinse her all off, making sure to get around her face and everything. Now she does have the little black things around her eyes. So I really don't know how to get rid of those. Um, besides like cutting them off, I think that's what the vet does. I just kind of leave them there. She is a white dog and that's just a part of having a white dog, you know? Um, and so I haven't found any way, if any of you guys know how to, a way to get rid of it, I don't know, some lady told me to try purified water, but like give her purified water instead of tap water, but that literally didn't do anything. So I don't know, but it's not, it's nothing too critical. It's, it's not, um, affecting her health or anything like that. So it's not that big of a deal. It's more of a cosmetic thing. But so then once she's all rinsed off and I go ahead and I take the conditioner um, and I just make sure to get the conditioner all over her body, all, all over her fur, not all over her body. I kind of avoid the like her belly area and her private area. I kind of avoid that area with the conditioner. There's no need. The conditioner is literally just to restore her hair so that it's nice and strong and healthy and, and it gets that curl and that bounce back. Because she is a poodle and a Maltese, um, her hair does get pretty frizzy and so she just looks fluffy, more so curly. But I do notice whenever I use the conditioner, especially the hair around her head and her neck, is gets very very curly i think that's where her poodle side of her comes out a whole lot more and so i just go ahead and put the conditioner on leave it on for like a minute or two um she kind of like shivers because she's a little cold because you know she's just sitting wet there but um after that conditioner uh has sat for a little while i just go ahead and i rinse her off again and once i rinse her off with the conditioner like rinse the conditioner off her hair feels so nice and soft and she smells so good. Guys, if you have a dog, I'm gonna leave the um, Chi for Dogs link down below. Your dog is gonna smell so good. Whenever I give her a bath, I just keep like hugging her because I just she just smells so good and like, ah, it's, 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 it's great. I go ahead and I just rinse it off. And then after that, I dry her with a towel. You know, I wrap her in a towel, dry her off for a little bit. And then I go ahead and I take a blow dryer and I put it on low heat, um, high air, and then I just kind of blow dry her off and I make sure that I move it around a lot so that it's not just sitting on one spot for a while because then that can like actually burn her. Um, so you just want to move it around a lot. I know there are dryers for dogs and whatnot, but honestly, the blow dryer that I use for my hair has been fine with her. You know what I'm saying? Um, so use what you got, you know what I'm saying? Um, but 
Yeah, so I just use that and I just go ahead and I dry her off and she kind of just like, she kind of moves around a lot. Sometimes she'll just sit there and be a good dog and just let the air hit her. And sometimes she's like running all over the place and like rubbing her head into the carpet. I don't know what that's about, but she loves to do that. And, um, but yeah, I just do that until she's pretty good, that you know, pretty well dried off. After that, that's pretty much done. And then she's all nice and fluffy and warm and curly and smelling good and, uh, and here she is, the star of the show, Penny. How you doing, Penny? So you guys can see the hair on her neck and her head is like so curly and nice. But then like if you come to the hair on her back, like it's just fluffy. It's not really curly, it's just fluffy. I mean, there's a little curl there, but the curls are really on her neck. So this is the star of the show. This is my little baby my child so that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a little different you probably have never seen one of these videos on youtube that is my dog's curly hair routine thank you so much for watching i hope it was entertaining maybe you guys have a dog if you do hopefully this is helpful if you have a dog that has curls um these these are great products for you and if you have a dog who has long curly hair um then using that conditioner is really good for helping to detangle it because you know dogs with long hair they get knots easily if they have like if they're fluffy like that they get not knotted up easily and so having a conditioner and being able to like brush out those those knots with the conditioner in it um really helps so that's all for this video hopefully it helped thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video